Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a really fun video to share with you. I'm going to be telling you my top five favorite brands and formulas of liquid lipsticks, which was kind of hard to narrow it down, but I, I did it. I'm also really excited because this video is a collaboration with my friend Cheryl, Makeup by Cheryl here on YouTube. If you guys already don't know her or aren't subscribed to her, go and give her some love because you will not be disappointed. She is just, does fantastic product reviews. Her product recommendations are always on point and she is a freelance makeup artist. So she has really great tutorials and she's just She's just amazing and I love watching her. If you are new to my channel and you came over from Cheryl's, thank you so much for checking out my video. I hope you'll enjoy it and I hope you will subscribe to my channel. And I think that's everything I wanted to say in the intro. So without further ado, let's rock and roll with my top five liquid lipsticks. Kicking the countdown off at number five, I feel like a news announcer. I do have the Sephora Cream Lip Stains and these are fantastic. I do have a couple downsides to these, which would be the color selection. They don't have a whole ton of colors. They have, you know, a handful, but I definitely think they should have more like nudes lighter colors and then more deeper colors they could definitely add to it. These are more affordable than some of my other picks. They are $14 a tube and I do have two colors out of the line and I really love the two colors that I have. So I have the color 07 Cherry Blossom and this is just a mid-tone kind of everyday warm pink color. It's just a really beautiful easy to wear color and then I also have the shade number 13 Marvelous Mauve which is just that, a really easy, trendy mauve color. I like the formula of these because it's almost like a hybrid of a fluffy type formula with a liquid, it is a liquid like lip stain or lipstick, but it's not super runny or anything. It's a nice in between of a liquid lipstick with a fluffy type texture. These have a baked goods type scent to it, so that's really delicious. And these, unfortunately, they don't have the longest wear time compared to some of my other picks here but they're still really long wearing for what they are. A fun little story about these, when I worked at Sephora a couple years ago, there was a team, I think they were either like little girl cheerleaders or in a dance competition or something like that, and the moms or the coach would come in and ask for like the most longest wear red lip product that would last through their entire competition and all that stuff, and I would always sell them th this um, formula of uh, lip product in the red color, so everybody on the team would have the red color, they would like buy the entire selection of that color, and they just loved it. There's a little story to tell you a little bit about the longevity, although in my opinion it's not the most longest wear compared to my other picks it is it is a dance competition approved <laughs> moving along to my fourth place pick I have the Kaplan D everlasting liquid lipsticks and I enjoy this formula it is a little bit more runny than the Sephora lip creams that I just talked about but not super runny that it's kind of hard to work with and I do like the application on this because it has a really long wand and for some reason it just makes it easier to apply. Maybe I just feel fancier if I'm being honest, but it does have a longer wand so <laughs> the packaging is cute. Obviously it's Kat Von D, very slim and pretty compact although it is longer. For me these are really comfortable on the lips but I don't really have an issue with wearing more drying type products like liquid lipstick. Some of them can be really drying on the lips, but I find for me, if I just prep my lips properly, meaning like exfoliate before and just have them hydrated and use a lip liner, I don't really have an issue because to me, liquid lipsticks give you that matte flat lip look. Most of them do and I don't mind it. So I just kind of know what I'm gonna get out of it. And so for that reason, I don't mind these at all. I know some people say they're drying, but I actually really like them. If I do happen to eat a meal or a snack or whatever while I'm wearing one of these, I do notice that the color fades on the inner part of the lip and it definitely needs a touch up, like a legit touch up afterwards. But honestly, I don't mind that because I actually try to wash off my liquid lipstick before eating just because it kind of grosses me out. So. I usually will have to reapply it anyway, but I do notice that if I wear these and then I do eat, I notice that fading more so than any other formula that I have to talk to you about today. The price point on these is around $20 and the color selection is extensive. She has some really cool colors, a good range of deeps and 
light colors like nudes and all the way in between and some really wearable everyday type colors as well so the color range is on point the colors that i have are the lolita the famous lolita which is a a brownie mauve color and these just smell like a liquid lipstick which i don't know if that's like a scent but it smells like a liquid lipstick <laughs> doesn't really have like a big good or fruitier. It doesn't really smell like anything besides a liquid lipstick, which is not bad. The next color that I have, which is probably my favorite, I don't know, I like them all. This is Double Dare. This is like a blushy rose color. So pretty. A great kind of everyday type color with that. And the other one that I have, which I'm trying to decide if I'm going to keep this one, I might return it just because, I don't know, it's just not, I'm just really not that in love with it. It's really cool, but it's not something I'm going to wear like all the time because it's just not like an everyday color. <laughs> this is Aisha, which is a, it's described as a rich lavender, but to me it's almost like a dusty grape color. It is really cool. It is really cool. I'll have to, I'll have to decide. You guys will have to let me know what you think of this on me because you guys will be seeing the lip swatch at some point during me talking here. I did order the little duo, the Lolita lip duo. So there's Lolita number one, the one that I just showed you, and then also a new color that is Lolita two. So I will link that set below so you can check it out if you wanna get like a little deluxe, a deluxe size of two, I think it's around $20, a really great deal. All right, moving along to my third place pick, I have the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks. I do just want a quick shout out that yes, most of mine are the little size because it was a value set and you get six colors for $39, which is a steal. And <laughs> I will link that set below. Get it before it's gone because I do believe it, oops, that was my fan. I do believe that it's limited edition. So such a great value. The best, side note, but the best value set that I've ever come across. That was dramatic, but true. <laughs> These have a really comfortable wear on the lips and they last a really long time and I, I just really love these. I think the color selection is great. Now these are $24 so the price point is a little bit more expensive than some of the other ones but I just love them. Um, The only color that I don't like is the Bellissima color. I don't like it on its own. I think it's great like as a center or mixing color or the center of your lips to make them look fuller but I just don't like this one on its own. It's kind of hard for me to find like a nice light nude color in a liquid lipstick that doesn't look kind of splotchy or patchy which this one definitely did so I don't recommend this for wear on its own but a good mixing color. These dry down so fast on the lips but not in a way that makes it hard to work with. They are very easy to apply. Overall I just love these and I want to get some more colors because I really need some more liquid lipsticks. No. My favorite colors are the shade Fiery which is a beautiful flattering red color. It's just so stunning on and then of course Patina which is like that everyday mauve wearable color and then Aria which is like a beautiful wearable berry shade. We are getting down to my number one pick so rolling in at number two or my second most favorite lipstick liquid lipstick I have the dose of colors what are they called the liquid lipsticks. These are the newest liquid lipstick to my collection and I am obsessed. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to go order a lot of the other shades which the good news is or the bad news <laughs> is that the color selection is not very big so there's not like a whole lot of damage I could do <laughs> but I love these that much that I want them in all the colors. They make your lips look so cushiony and just probably one of the most flattering liquid lipsticks besides my number one pick which I'll get to but just so cushiony and pillowy and fluffy on the lips. I, I think if you have a hard time with liquid lipsticks because they just dry out your lips or make your lips look just too dry and you don't like that but you still want to try a liquid lipstick, try these out. I don't think you'd be disappointed at all. These are I believe $18 each. The color that I can't stop wearing is Bury Me which is a perfect, by the way these smell really good too, but Bury Me is a perfect berry color. I mean come on. Perfect for fall and then the other color that I, I mean I love all of them. What am I trying to say? I love all of these but Truffle is just a really pretty, more of a beigey 
mauve color and then probably the one that everybody has their panties in a bunch about is stone which is more of a mauve -y, a pinky mauve with a little bit of beige okay guys in my number one holy grail favorite liquid lipstick ever are the ofra long lasting liquid lipsticks I have quite a few colors I'm not gonna swatch every color I will share with you my favorite ones but I am working currently on doing a lip swatch video so I will be showing you guys a lip swatch video of all the colors that I have these are everything they're so fluffy they're so flattering and same with the dose of color they're just like pillowy and fluffy looking on the lips so so beautiful so comfortable long lasting and I just really can't say anything bad about them uh, I wish they had more colors because then I could be more greedy and have more colors but I would say the color selection is pretty darn good they have really wide a range of colors they have really deep colors they have really fun colors I think they have some blue and green colors and they have some really great nude colors these do sell for right around the $20 price point but you can use the coupon code I believe it's Kathleen 40 I'll have it below to get 40% off of your entire Ofra order which you can get them down to around what $12 which is such a great price point so with that being said my favorite colors out of the collection that I have the first one is Laguna Beach which is just a really beautiful peachy nudie pink color and it's just a really nice everyday color so love that also love the color that I'm wearing today is Mina which is that darker kind of maroonish berry lip color love that and then my other favorite is where are you this one is probably my favorite this is Santa Ana it is just such a beautiful cranberry deep rose color like a blush and it's so so beautiful I also love mixing these together just random colors to create like my own concoction so just everything about them love no bad things to say so yes yeah, stay on the lookout for the swatch video of all my Ofra liquid lipsticks all right guys so that wraps up my top five favorite liquid lipstick formulas I hope you enjoyed please 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 let me know what your favorites are below if we share any of the same favorites or if you have totally different ones that I should check out because like I said I really need some more liquid lipsticks in my life uh. <laughs> and please also go check out Cheryl her channel and her video go subscribe and tell her that I sent you and as always thank you so very much for watching if you're not already subscribed please subscribe and join my YouTube family here and have a great day or night I'll see you guys later bye